Hello Pisces and welcome to Intuitive Art Mediums. Thank you for joining me for your 1212 portal and full moon in Gemini astro tarot reading. We have the full moon in Gemini occurring Saturday the 18th at 11.36 p.m. Eastern Standard Time. So please adjust to your time zone as this could occur on Sunday the 19th for you. We also have Chiron stationing direct in Aries on Sunday the 19th, which is part of this uh, energy that we're looking at. We just came out of the eclipses, and so this is an energy check-in to see where your energy is shifted and what areas of your life are being impacted by these shifts. Now I have some selenite crystals here because it is ruled by the moon goddess Selena and selenite is great for aligning the auric bodies. So I'm hoping that these crystal energies will help with aligning your energy bodies. Now Pisces, this is a general tarot reading meant for Pisces, Sun, Moon, Venus, and or rising. So please only go with the messages that resonate with you. And we start with family, a sense of belonging, community, culture, and tribes with number two. And then we have 39 with dreams, messages, signs, symbols, guidance. What this is telling me is that perhaps family members that may have passed on or recently passed on may be entering into your dreams with messages. And then we have number 10 with pleasure, enjoyment, beauty, sensuality, and indulgence. Okay, now these dreams that your guides or loved ones are trying to come through is telling you to maybe enjoy your life more enjoy the beauty and the sensuality of of life of tasting whatever it is that you're indulging in to really feel as you know for example if you have a spa day really enjoy the sensations of the massage relax into it if there's aromatherapy, enjoy and indulge in those senses. This is a card that's asking you to indulge in your senses. Now, as this is a general reading, what could be coming also in through your dreams and messages are messages if you have been overindulging in the pleasures of life. So this is a general reading, so it can go either way, but I really do get a feeling that it is family, family members that are going to be sending you messages, signs to give you guidance on balancing the pleasures of life in whichever way that may flow for you, Pisces. Okay, now let's look into the tarot to see what areas of your life is being impacted by these big energy shifts. And we start with a success. Excellent. With family, perhaps uh, this could involve a family business or someone from family giving you startup money to start a business because we have this success. This could also be successful in belonging in the community. Your business offers a service to the community 
and it's successful. And then we have transformation with dreams. Now, this to me is telling me that your dreams are going to have a transformative power on you. This is the tower card in the traditional tarot deck. And so this can have, I'm, sh I'm sorry, this is the death card because the death card is about transformation. So here we have this powerful transformation going on and you're facing things that may have controlled you. This can be behaviors. This could also be other people, toxic relationships, whether it's in work or family. And this can also be your relationship with yourself because we have the sacral uh, chakra here with pleasure. And this transformation, it's asking you to enjoy life, but to balance the pleasure. So there's some kind of transformation going on with the messages that your guides are having upon you. They are going to be sending you strong signs through symbols. This could be through repetitive numbers or things that resonate and trigger you. Okay, the next we have projections with the pleasure. Okay, now this can go both ways. Uh, what energies have you been projecting? And what energies have been projected upon you that you've absorbed and is having an impact on your life because you've mistaken other people's projections as your own. That is why someone in your family that is in the spirit realm is guiding your dreams. This could also be somebody who has a psychic ability, especially in dream walking. They could be feeling the need to send you warning signs because we do have this devil card with the or the death card with transformation and this death is letting something go here we have this phoenix rising up out of the shadow there is a renewal here and it has to do with you being able to discern what energies are yours and what has been projected upon you. And that could be why this pleasure card is asking you to take a time out, spend some time alone with yourself, and really indulge in the senses to get in touch with your body. Don't numb yourself from the sensations. This could be listening to music. This could be eating your favorite kind of foods, your fruits, whatever that brings you this relaxing, comforting pleasure, because this is going to sink yourself into yourself. And this toxic projections are going to be dissolved. Okay, let's get into the chakra energy cards here and clarify these energies. This is a really fat deck, so I'm going to divide it into three piles. We have the six chakra, which is the third eye. This is going to affect your dreams. The fulfillment of my daily obligations gives me ample opportunity for contemplation. And that is your success here with your family. It could be that you're spending some time contemplating about your relationship with family, with your relationship with community, 
your tribe, your culture, what it, or this could be you coming up with a business idea that is evolving in this opportunity. Okay, and I also got a message of family and projections. Uh, this could also be some of the projections that may have been put upon you by your family. And here it's come in through your crown chakra. And even though you've been successful, perhaps there's been an obligation to be successful in your family. Not that there's anything wrong with that, but that could bring about some high pressures for you. And that's why you're having these dreams to take care of yourself, to indulge in the pleasures of life and not to be all work. And this could give you the idea to fulfill that daily obligation by giving yourself that time. See what's going on with this transformation of your dreams. You're having some, and this could also be your dreams are transforming. They're becoming more powerful. And here we have the fifth chakra. This is the throat chakra. I completely and lovingly accept all of my possibilities of expression. Now for some of you, I don't know if you're familiar with EFT tapping technique, but this might be something that might be helpful for you in dissolving some of these projections that's going to help you transform. Because one of the most important things that uh, is said during EFT tapping is I completely and lovingly accept myself and here all of your possibilities of expression. There could be something that you haven't been able to express. And again, it could come from um, how you're supposed to be in your family. The role that you play in your family. And this card really wanted to come out and be oh actually these two cards okay spirit wants these cards for you the secondary chakra yang which is projective power the creative power of the masculine flows to me freely and without obstacles now this has nothing to do with your gender or your gender association this is the divine masculine energy we all possess both masculine and feminine divine energy and this is allowing you to accept this flow freely and without obstacles and this could be the energy you need to clear out and discern those projections that are yours and those that are not. And here we have the second chakra, which is this sacral chakra. I trustingly allow my body to control my sensuality. Okay, so we have sensuality up here as well. And this allows us a deeper expression of beauty of that which we enjoy and can indulge ourselves in. Now, many things can be sensuous. Artwork can be sensuous. Relaxing in contemplation, because we have this contemplation. And here we have this woman who's sitting in a chair that is comfortable, which is pleasurable and sipping on a drink that she enjoys and wearing clothes that make her feel beautiful and confident in 
her self-expression, what makes her feel good, what makes her feel magical. And this is true for you as well, Pisces. Okay, let's get into your chakra love cards to see what crystals may be helpful for you at this time. <clears throat> this is chakra balance, harmony. Harmony makes the song of life sweeter. So green jasper, turquoise, and labradorite may be ideal stones to wear as jewelry, necklaces, rings, or just to meditate with. Okay, and next we have this one. And it is red jasper which is grounding, sink your roots deep, connect them to the heart of the earth. Okay, that's part of this transformation. It's part of what your dreams, it's the process. You're receiving this energy from this shift of energy from the cosmos, the source, and it's transforming as it goes down through your energy field and you ground it to the earth. And then we have, oh, here's your artwork. And then we have amethyst, intuition. Intuition is the little tug that pulls you towards your light. That is how you are going to be able to discern between the projections and what your energies are. And it's going to be through the pleasure centers feeling things and experiencing things that you haven't before. Okay, now let's look at the mudra cards to see what you can further do to facilitate this healing energy that's shifting. Okay, and forgive me if I mispronounce the name of this mudra. At Homuka Ha Mudra, and it is number 20 activation. Okay, it assists transformation, inner fire clearing, it activates the digestive system, supports proper digestion, uh, simulates an elimination, reduces toxicity, aids self healing potential and this is the element fire which is the root chakra you can re pause and read these instructions if you want to know more and your focus is i activate and awaken my inner treasure that is your success but you have to take an active movement towards this transformation and your reading is asking you to pay attention to your dreams and to do that what feels good next we have 37 potential well this activation is about activating your potential with a usha's mudra mudra <laughs> again forgive me if i mispronounce this so this assists in equanimity, illumination, and unification. It benefits balance all systems and energy centers of the body, supports full yogic breathing, supports creativity, productivity, harmony, and increases mental clarity and alertness. And it is all elements. <clears throat> And your focus is, I awaken the potential within and open to my highest truth. Okay, this could have something to do with the family valuable values you were raised with. And you need to kind of clear out and transform that which works for you, that which feels right to you. And you're evolving. And your potential is going to bring you success. There is a change in what it is that you're doing. 
Okay, and then let's complete your reading with an affirmation card from Because I Love Myself. And here we have My Needs Matter. I please myself, I focus and check in, asking what it is, my own bright, precious self, that you want most at this time. I make my needs my priority. <clears throat> right here, that is the pleasure card. Bring yourself pleasure. Enjoy the pleasures of life. And that can take on in so many forms and ways. Okay, Pisces, I'm going to end your reading here. I hope that you found it beneficial. Until next time, take care.